In this video, we will see how we can randomize questions in a quiz in Brightspace. First, we will create a question pool and from that pool of questions, we will randomize the questions in the quiz. Now, different students will have different questions when they are attempting the quiz. That's the objective. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going into quizzes. Once we come into the quizzes area, first thing we need to do is go to question library. I have a number of questions in the question library. I'm just going to take an example here. So in the question library, I have all these different folders. They are actually called sections. Okay. So you can choose the different types of questions to create here. So in question library, I do have a number of questions. So I'm going to select one of the questions libraries here. So this is chapter two, three bonding, the molecular force of attraction. I have a number of subsections here. So you can create all of these subsections or sections by going to library and if you select new section just want to show you how you can create these folders i'm going to say topic one so you can see that i created a folder here it is a section so you can call it anything chemical bonding ionic bonding mo molecular bonding so suppose in topic one, I need to have different topics or different sections. I can select the topic here, go to new, create a new section. And let's say subtopic. One, this is just to show you how you can organize your library so when you come to topics now you see the subtopic i'm going to add one more subtopic so under topic one section subtopic two same so this is how i created my library so the main topic subtopics and i can add questions here by going to new and actually typing in the type of questions that I really want to generate. I have different versions here. You have true and false, multiple choice, written response, short answers, a variety of questions here. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. Instead, I already have a question bank set up. So this is my topic. So in the topic, I have the subtopics here, the different topics, and each of these topics, I do have questions. I just uh, uh, put in a few questions here. So Lewis diagrams, ionic compounds. So you can see all the questions are here. I have already generated this library. And you can also see the type of questions that are in this quiz. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually create a quiz. So I'm going back to quizzes. And I'm going to create a new quiz. So I'm going to call it quiz two. I'm going to rename it application and coming under bonding. This topic comes under unit two. So I'm going to select unit two. That's the category to which it belongs based on the strands or the units or the topics that you call them. In this case, I've called them as units. We come to the bottom of the page i can add additional information here so i do not want the students to do right click and go back or check out stuff similarly disable the email instant messages and alerts within the browser at the given time this this does not deter the students from doing stuff by using alternate means but this is a deterrent save it for now so i've saved the name the topic or the category and uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to add edit questions. That's what I'm going to do next. So I will select add 
edit questions. And when I come to this page, I have a couple of options here. When I select add, I can add a new question. I can add a section or add a question pool. This is what I want to do to randomize the questions for the different students in the same quiz. So I select question pool. I'm going to call it uh, by a specific name. Let's say inter molecular courses. I want to do some application questions on it. So I want to select two questions from a pool so that two questions from this pool of questions will be actually accepted. And I can also assign a points per question. So since this is going to be an application question, I'm going to give it a five mark for each of the question because it'll have a sequence of information that the students will have to include to have a complete response to this question. I'm going to save it. Oh, before I do the saving, I have to go to the browse question library and select and make a pool here from which I can actually select the questions. So browse. And if I come to the topic that I'm actually discussing, these are the topics that I have here. In that, I'm going to select intermolecular forces of attraction. I need some questions here, so I'm going to select one question from here. The shapes of molecules, I'm going to select a few from here. So three and three, six questions from here, and two, eight. Okay, I'm going to just select those eight questions, import them. So now I have created a question pool from which every time I run this question, it will pick two questions out of it. Okay. And each question will have five points. Or the marks for the question would be five points. So I'm going to save this. Now I have one question in my quiz 02A chemical bonding. Okay. So I'm going to add one more question. I'm going to create a question pool again. Title it. So shapes of molecules. And I'm going to say I want two questions from it. I'm going to give four marks for the question. I'm going to browse the library. Go all the way down. Going to shapes of molecules. I have a few questions here. So I'm going to select the ones that I've not selected. So that's the second question. I'm going to import that. There will be two questions from this section. So totally in my quiz, I will have four questions and it will be selected from this pool of questions. I'm going to save them. One and two comes from here, three and four comes from here. So I put the titles for the question library so that, so that I can identify the type of questions that are in there. So I just wanted to show you how this works. So I've created two questions using question pool for randomization. So I'm going to do a preview here. So I'm going to start the quiz to see how many questions are going to come up. 
And are they going to be the same questions? So start a quiz. So question number one with five points. The first question is a student records. You have all this information. Question number two, again, five points. It has all of this information and you're supposed to pick. Question number three, this is the second question pool that I created, four points. And there are, there is, there are two questions here. So I created two question pools and I selected the choices two to be the number of questions to be selected from that pool. And every time a student gets a question or a quiz, the program selects two questions randomly from the pool of questions. That's the way it's going to work. It will be submitted. So this is only preview and testing out how the question will look. Oh, let's see, let's just submit it. To I just want to get one. You have not answered. It gives you warnings because I am just testing this out. I do not want it to be graded. So I'm going to submit quiz. I'm done. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to revisit the quizzes again and attempt it a second time. This is the one that I have quiz 02A chemical bonding. So preview and start the quiz. Now I notice that the first question is different here, first and the second. All of the questions that you have here are different from the previous question. So every student, when they get a quest, quiz, will have a different combination of questions. So that's the advantage of using the question pool and randomizing the questions in a quiz. So that's how you randomize questions in a quiz for the students using question pool. That's it for now.